animals, plants, fungi, and microorganisms. But do we need them all? Butterflies, for example. Biologists have identified around 180,000 different species. They can be found here, and here, and here too. They look very different and are also different in terms of many of their genes. Genetic diversity helps species to adapt to environmental change and survive. And that ensures the survival of species that rely on them. Many birds, for example, feed on caterpillars. And cats feed on birds. The pyramid of dependence goes on and on. If the butterflies at the base of it go missing, then it can have a big impact on species diversity as a whole. And animal diversity can affect plant diversity. That's because butterflies feed on nectar from flowers and in the process act as pollinators. Without them, many flowering plants would be unable to propagate. By destroying natural habitats, human beings pose a danger to butterflies and therefore entire ecosystems. Climate change is making things worse. And what's true of butterflies is true of every living thing on the planet. Each fulfills an important function in its own ecosystem. Over the ages, many species have become extinct. To some extent, that's a natural process, but currently around 130 species are being wiped out every day. At that pace, Earth could soon become a lifeless wasteland.